I decided to record this because I <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen, but I feel like it'll be really interesting. So I asked ChatGPT, I look, to make me a game, a, a spooky game, and so here it is. <laughs> the haunted mansion. In a small, isolated town, there lies an old and mysterious mansion that has been abandoned for decades. Rumors about its haunted past have spread throughout the town, and many believe that the spirits of its former residents still linger within its walls. Curiosity has gotten the better of you, and you decide to explore the mansion to uncover its secrets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> As you approach the creaky iron gates of the mansion, you can't help but feel a chill down your spine. You push the gates open and walk up the massive wooden doors, which you slowly push open. You find yourself in the grand entrance hall, dimly lit by the moonlight streaming through the broken windows. From here, you have three choices. Explore the dusty library to your left, venture into the dark, cold living room to your right, or climb the grand staircase directly in front of you leading to the second floor. Do we explore the dusty library to our left, go to the dark, cold living room to our right, or climb the grand staircase in front of us to the second floor? Let's do one. I feel like um, three is moving forward. You decide to explore the dusty library to your left. As you enter, the door creaks loudly and a musty smell fills the air. The room is lined with tall, dusty bookshelves, and an old wooden table sits in the center, covered with cobwebs and a few scattered books. Moonlight filters through the cracked windows, casting eerie shadows on the walls. As you walk towards the bookshelf, you notice a worn, leather-bound book with a strange symbol on the cover. You feel a strange urge to read it. You have two choices. Pick up the mysterious book and read it, or leave the library and choose another area in the mansion to explore. Pick up the book. Nervous playing too. Ignoring the unsettling feeling in your gut. <laughs> you decide to pick up the mysterious book and read it. The symbol on the cover seems to pulse with energy as your fingers brush against it. As you open the book, you find that it's written in unfamiliar language with cryptic symbols and diagrams scattered throughout the pages. As you attempt to decipher the text, the room suddenly grows colder, and the shadows cast by the moonlight seem to come alive, twisting and stretching across the walls. You feel an invincible or invisible force gripping your mind as you become more and more engrossed in this book. Continue reading the mysterious book, uh, trying to unlock its uh, the secrets, or close the book immediately and choose another area to explore. Just read it. Determined to unlock the secrets hidden within the mysterious book, you continue reading. As you focus on the cryptic symbols and diagrams, you begin to feel a strange connection to the text. The room around you seems to fade away, replaced by sensations of floating in the darkness. You hear faint whispers, barely audible at first, gradually growing louder and more insistent. The whispers seem to be guiding you, and you find yourself uh, able to understand the previously indecipherable text. You realize that the book is an ancient grimoire containing powerful spells and rituals. The air around you crackles with energy, and you suddenly find yourself back in the library, the once cold room now filled with an overworldly glow. The shadows have receded it, replaced by flickering apparitions that seem drawn to the book's power. You have two choices. Attempt to communicate with the spirits using knowledge from the grimoire, or close the book and try to escape the library, searching for a way out of the mansion. Ape or talk to the spirit? Nerva likes the number one. Emboldened by your newfound knowledge from the grimoire, you decide to attempt communication with the spirits. You flip through the pages, searching for an appropriate spell or incantation. You find a ritual meant to allow you to, for you to speak with the dead and decide to give it a try. Following the instructions carefully, you draw a circle of protection around yourself and light a few candles placed at specific points. You recite the incantations written in the grimoire, your voice echoing through the library. The air becomes thick with energy and the flickering apparitions grow more solid and distinct. As the incantation ends, one of the spirits steps forward. It's a woman dressed in tattered Victorian era clothing. Her eyes are hollow and her face is twisted in sorrow. She speaks to you in a 
haunting voice, revealing that she is one of the former residents of the mansion, trapped here by a powerful curse. The spirit implores you to find a way to lift the curse and free her and the other spirits from their eternal torment. Agree to help the spirit and search for the mansion for clues to break the spell. Apologize to the spirit, but decide it's too dangerous and try to escape. Well, we should definitely help them. <laughs> You agree to help the spirit and search the mansion for clues to break the curse. The spirit's hollow eyes seem to show a glimmer of hope as she thanks you. She tells you that the curse was cast by a powerful and malevolent entity that resides within the mansion. The entity's lair is hidden somewhere in the mansion, and there you will find the key to lifting the curse. With a newfound sense of purpose, you leave the library, the spirits watching you intently as you go. You remember the other areas of the mansion you have yet to explore and consider your options. Honestly, this is like, <laughs> this is so much more in depth than I was expecting. It's really good, isn't it? Let's, I just keep clicking number one, venture the dark living room. You decide to venture into the dark, cold living room to your right. As you step into the room, you notice the once luxurious furniture now covered in thick, in a thick layer of dust and cobwebs. The walls are adorned with decaying paintings of the mansion's former residents, their eyes seeming to follow you as you move through the room. In the center of the room, there is an old fireplace with the remnants of charred logs inside the room feels unnaturally cold, and you can't help but shiver as you examine your surroundings. Among the various items scattered throughout the room, you find a small wooden box, partially hidden behind a tattered armchair. Open the box or leave. We should definitely open the box. Curious about the contents of the small wooden box, you decide to open it. As you lift the lid, you find a set of old rusted keys. Each key has a unique intricate design, and you wonder if they might unlock hidden areas within the mansion. Feeling that you have discovered something important, you pocket the keys and consider where to explore next. As you ponder your options, you recall the words of the spirit in the library, urging you to find the malevolent entity hidden lair. Use the keys to search for hidden doors or passageways in the living room. Climb the grand staircase directly in front of you, leading to the second floor. Investigate the narrow hallway you decided you noticed earlier, which seems to lead to the mansion's basement. Uh, I was gonna go up the stairs next, but uh, I kind of want to go up the stairs. Let's pick something other than number one. Deciding to explore the second floor of the mansion, you climb the grand staircase, each stop creaking ominously beneath your feet. As you reach the top of the stairs, you find yourself in a dimly lit hallway lined with closed doors. The wallpaper is peeling and the air is thick with dust, making it difficult to breathe. You take out the set of old rusted keys from the wooden box and then examine them closely. As you walk along the hallway, you try the keys on each door, hoping to find a hidden area that might lead you to the malevolent entity's lair. Most of the doors are locked and lead to dusty abandoned bedrooms and bathrooms, but one key in particular seems to stand out. It has an intricate design that seems to resemble the mysterious symbol on the cover of the grimoire. With a sense of trepidation, you try the unique key in the lock of the last door at the end of the hallway. The door clicks open, revealing a hidden study. You have two choices. Enter the hidden study and search for clues to the entity's lair. Decide that it's too risky and go back to and explore the basement. Oh, God. Oh. What if it's in the basement? What are, do we go in the, the study, Nerva? Okay. B. Feeling both anxious and excited, you decide to enter the hidden study and search for clues to the entity's lair. As you step inside, you notice this room seems to be in a bit better condition than the rest of the mansion. The air is noticeably warmer, and the walls are lined with bookshelves filled with ancient tomes and artifacts. In the center of the room, there's a large wooden desk covered with papers, vials, and an ornate candle, candle of candelabrum. You carefully examine the papers and find notes and drawings that seem to detail the history of the mansion and malevolent entity that resides within it. You learn that the entity can only be banished by performing a powerful ritual using a specific artifact hidden somewhere in the mansion. As you're reading through the notes, you notice a detailed sketch of the mansion's layout. 
The drawing reveals a secret passage leading from the basement to the entity's lair. You have two choices. Head back to the first floor and investigate the narrow hallway that leads to the mansion's basement. Continue exploring the second floor. I feel like we, yeah. For the artifact needed for the ritual, yes. Deciding to search for the artifacts needed for the ritual. First, you continue exploring the second floor. You leave the hidden study, careful to close the door behind you. With the knowledge gained from the notes in the study, you look for any signs that might lead you to the artifact. As you walk through the dimly lit hallway, you notice a small door hidden behind a tattered tapestry. You move the tapestry aside and unlock the door using one of the keys from the wooden box. Inside, you find a small, dusty storage room filled with old trunks and various items covered in cobwebs. You begin searching through the trunks and items, hoping to find the artifacts mentioned in the notes. After a thorough search, you find a small ornately carved wooden box tucked away in the corner. You carefully open the box, revealing a crystal amulet with a strange symbol engraved on it. The symbol matches the one described in the notes as the key to the banishing, uh, banishing the malevolent entity. With the artifact in hand, you have two choices. Head back to the first floor and investigate the narrow hallway that leads to the mansion's basement. Return Turn to the study to gather more information about the entity. Um, we're gonna go back to the study. That's the smart thing to do. <laughs> Deciding that it's wise to gather more information about the ritual before facing the entity, you return to the st uh, hidden study. You carefully examine the notes and drawings on the desk, focusing on the details of the ritual. According to the notes, the ritual must be performed in the presence of the entity, and you must recite a specific incantation while holding the crystal amulet. The amulet's power combined with the incantation should be enough to banish the malevolent being and break the curse of the mansion. Feeling more prepared and confident, you gather the notes and you ensure the crystal amulet, uh, you have the crystal amulet securely in your possession. You now have two choices. Head back to the first floor and investigate the narrow ha hallway that leads to the mansion's basement. Explore the mansion further, hoping to find additional information or items that might aid you in the upcoming confrontation. Let's keep looking. Feeling that there might be more to discover, you decide to explore the mansion further. You leave the hidden study once again, carefully closing the door behind you and roam through the rooms and hallways on both floors. As you search, you come across various items that seem to have belonged to the mansion's previous occupants, shedding light on the history of the place. In one of the bedrooms, you find a locked trunk. Using the keys from the wooden box, you manage to open it. Inside, you discover a beautifully crafted silver dagger with an ornate handle. The blade appears to be very sharp, and its design resembles the mysterious symbol found on the grimoire and the crystal amulet. You decide to take the dagger with you, feeling that it might come in handy during your confrontation with the entity. Now that you have the dagger, amulet, and ritual knowledge, you feel as prepared as possible. Spend more time exploring. Um, Dude, we could just keep exploring. <laughs> You decide to spend more time exploring the mansion, searching for any remaining clues of the hidden areas. As you walk through the room and hallways, you begin to notice patterns and details that you haven't seen before. The mysterious symbol seems to be a reoccurring motif, appearing in various locations on different objects throughout the mansion. During your search, you find a small room that appears to have been a servant's quarters. Among the dusty and warm belongings, you discover a journal that belonged to a formal servant. The journal contains entries that describe the events leading up to the curse and the presence of the malevolent entity. From the journal, you learned that the entity was summoned by the mansion's last owner, who had become obsessed with dark magic and forbidden rituals. The servant uh, writes about their attempts to stop the owner and the consequence that followed. The journal ends abruptly, suggesting that the servant met an untimely fate. Feeling that you have uncovered all the things, now we have to. We have to go. There's nothing left. All right. We have to go to the basement now. With newfound determination, you head back to the first floor and investigate the narrow hallway that leads to the mansion's basement. The air grows colder as you descend the creaky wooden stairs. 
The basement is dimly lit and filled with a thick layer of dust and cobwebs. As you navigate through the cluttered space, you recall the stretch of the mansion's layout that you found in the hidden study, which revealed a secret passage leading to the entity's lair. After searching for a while, you find a hidden lever behind an old dusty bookshelf. You pull the lever and the bookshelf slowly creaks open, revealing a dark, narrow tunnel. Taking a uh, deep breath, you clutch the silver dagger and crystal amulet tightly and enter the tunnel. The passage is long and winding, and the air becomes increasingly oppressive as you move deeper into the darkness. At the end of the tunnel, you finally reach a large cavernous chamber. The walls are lined with strange markings, and in the center of the chamber, you see the malevolent entity floating above an altar. It's a horrifying sight. A twisted mass of darkness and swirling shadows begin the ritual to banish the entity, reciting the incantations while holding the crystal amulet. Attempt to fight it using the dagger. <clears throat> Which one? Fight it or banish it? I think we're supposed to banish it, but we'll see. Summoning your courage, you decide to begin the ritual to banish the entity. You stand within the chamber, holding the crystal amulet tightly in one hand. As you be begin to recite the incantation you learned from the hidden study, the air around you crackles with energy, and the entity's form seems to waver, reacting to the power of the ritual. As you continue to recite the incantation, the entity lets out guttural, otherworldly scream, in its form twisting and contorting in apparent agony. Shadows around the chamber whip and lash like a violent storm, but you stand your ground, focusing on the ritual. With one final powerful verse, the crystal amulet begins to glow brightly, casting a brilliant light that pierces the darkness. The malevolent entity emits an ear-shattering screech as it is torn apart by the ritual's power, vanishing in a burst of shadow and light. As the chamber falls silent, you feel an the oppressive atmosphere lift, replaced by a sense of peace and calm. The spirits of the mansion are finally freed from the curse, and the malevolent entity is no more. You've successfully completed your spooky text-based adventure. You've navigated Haunted Mansion, uncovered its secrets, and banished the malevolent en entity, breaking the curse and feeling the trapped spirit, uh, fr freeing the trapped spirits. Well done! If you have any other questions or want to start another adventure, feel free to ask. <laughs> Yeah! Well done, ChatGPT! That was really fun! I really like that! I think the next one, I'll request that there's more, like, options and, like, secrets to be, like, you know? Like, like, because there was a lot of one and two. If there could have been, like, look for things more, look for, you know, little, little tidlets and, like, like, maybe, like, false ends. But other than that, it was really good. Yatta!